YouTube, what up? Your boy, Icy Souls 23 come back at you with a Nike SB pickup. Um, really psyched about this shoe. Um, I didn't, I didn't have to camp out. Um, my local skate shop, Circle A, only had seven pairs. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I didn't get my size. I didn't get a pair. Um, what mostly disturbs me about this shoe release is that a lot of the majority of skate shops rose, uh, like they made the price go up. I mean, the retail on this shoe was $98. Um, my local skate shop was charged $175. I'm like, okay, I'm not trying to pay no price like a, like a pair of fucking Jordan Spizax or a retail pair of uh, Jordan 11s like the Concords or the Cool Grays or the Space Shams or whatever. Um, but unfortunately I didn't get my size and, and uh, I didn't get my pair. Like I said, uh, when I went there I met some few cool people. Uh, they were waiting all night. I mean, I was a tenth in line and they only had seven pairs, which is ridiculous. Um, uh, there's a total of about 14 people. I mean, some of the people that are in front of me camped out all night, they didn't even get their pairs. So I wasn't really that disappointed. I went around 8 in the morning, they opened at 11. And so, I mean, okay, at least I didn't camp all night. So, I went and caught the pair off of Craigslist for a really good price. I mean, um, shout-outs to, you know, you know who you are, bro. Um, and he didn't, he wasn't, he, he was just like me. He wasn't looking, he got the shoe for retail. He sold it um, for a reasonable price, and I, you know, I thank you for that. Uh, you know, all these fucking rape sellers are selling for 300 and plus, and, you know, I just find that ridiculous. So... Without further ado, let's get into the shoe. Blue box. Nike Dunk Low Premium SB Quick Strike. It actually says QS. That kind of surprises me. I mean, most of the shoes. I mean, I know it's not a big deal, but like when it says QS, that's you know, it's pretty crazy. Um, black, black, white, gum, medium, brown. Suggested retail, like I said, ninety-eight bucks. And from the color code and from the label of the shoe and from the hype, you guys are probably already know what these are. And from the title of this video, Extra White Laces. Um, I don't think I'll be putting the white laces on there. I think it's a little bit too much. And boom, you have the Nike SB Nontourage or Entourage uh, Dunk Low Premium. Um... So, don't get mad at me, okay? I was just curious. For all these, all you fucking haters out there, I was just curious to see what the shoe would look like. But, I took... These are DS. I've never worn these. I was just looking at them earlier. I got these today. Um, and, I was just curious to see what they look what they would look like with brown laces. I mean, I don't know. I just I think white laces are a little bit too much. But, so let's just get into the shoe. So... This shoe, in my opinion, is a really nice... Let me put some flash on. This is a really, really, really nice detailed shoe. I mean, honestly, the hype on these things are were, were so ridiculous. I mean, if Nike SB, out of the blue, were to just came out with these, like, as a re uh, if they didn't, like, release any pictures or photos or not even do the Entourage collab in general... Like, if these came out out of nowhere, it was like a, a random general release, I bet you the hype would even be that high. I mean, but enough of that. Let's just get into the shoe. So, obviously, there are about three versions of the shoe. The first version was obviously a blacked out bottom, and it actually had the uh, entourage written under Nike SB, uh, as well as it says Dunk Low Pro right now. And it had the, uh, you know, the little clipboard or whatever. Uh, I think this side it is said, it was supposed to say Entourage and the clipboard. And then on the other shoe, it was supposed to say the end. Then they came out with a second pair, a second uh, version of the shoe. And that version was very similar to this. Except that the only difference was the insoles. These say Nike SB in white. Whereas the other ones had the uh, the clipboard and the end on the right shoe 
And then now they came out with the the actual uh, release that were that was going to release to the public. These these are crazy how limited these were. Um, I just couldn't believe people were camping out for these. Um, but don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful shoe. Let's get into it. So black, you have on the upper, very very nice suede, very nice premium suede. I mean, I mean when it, when it says Dunk Low Premium, I mean they really do mean it. And the suede is like really, really nice. You have the suede on the side panels as well. The ankle area. You know. And you have on the, around the toe box, this really nice uh, elephant print. So these obviously remind you of the Supremes a lot. You have that going on around the toe. Up the eyelets. Around the ankle area. The heel. All the way in the back. Um, you also have black contrast stitching. Really cool. I think they're crazy. Um, and you, you have, of course, your black laces. Black mesh tongue. Really nice. And, you know... That's pretty much it for the black part. You have the black, black inner walls. Um... Then you have a black premium leather swoosh. It's like tumbled leather. You also have that in the back where it has Nike. That same premium leather. Suede hit in the back again. And let's see. You have gum medium brown, which is obviously the bottom. Any shoe that has a gum sole, it looks pretty dope. I mean, in my opinion, I really don't like... All black shoes with the gum bottom. I mean, the only reason why I absolutely love these shoes with the gum bottom because these remind me of the Air Jordan One High Premier Lasers that came back, that came out in 2008 along with the Gucci ones. I mean, those ones were like absolutely ridiculously slick. They were awesome shoe. I used to have them. I beat them up. I'm looking on getting another pair right now, but that shoe was just awesome. But yeah, you have that gum hit in the bottom. Really, really beautiful touch. Uh, really glad that Nike SBs decided to do that. You have the gold Nike swoo uh, the Nike branding on the back of the on the heel. Really sick. Really sweet. Really nice shoe, guys. I mean, the shoe is it's simple, but yet it's 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 fucking gorgeous. Um, and also, obviously, your white you have on the Nike SB hit on the bottom, you have it on the midsole, and then you have Nike SB Dunk Low Pro on the tab in white, and you have Nike SB in white on the inner side on the inside. I think I don't know why. I I, I think um, it would have been cool if it had a Nike SB in gold instead of whatever. All right, so. The reason why I decided to switch these laces to brown is because I think the white was too much. But let me know what you guys think. I mean, brown, I don't know. I, don't know. I think it looks okay. I think I might switch it back, back to black. But, you know, whatever. I just wanted to experiment a little bit because I think white would be a little bit too much. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. Hey, boy, Icy Souls 23 signing off with the... Nike SB Dunk Low Premium Entourages, or Nontourages, um, really clean shoe overall, solid 10 out of 10, the materials on these things are ridiculous, and I'll catch you guys on my next video, thanks for watching, and peace.